When brushing your dog, you really want to use a soft, gentle stroke. So use the same amount of pressure that you would on your arm. So test it out on your arm before you start doing it to your dog. But I want to show you the technique I use when I brush. With this liquor brush, I'm just using this soft, gentle motion not using more pressure than I would on my own arm, and just moving in different areas. This is the perfect maintenance for your dog. Hold on to the um, hair, and just, you can go in those lines, like I showed. But you're just using soft, gentle motions. Some places you're going to see matting is at the collar. So I've taken his collar off so we can get through there. Behind the ears, I can feel he's got a couple we'll work on. Um, you can see it sometimes at the chest, armpits right here. Same with right here on his legs, on his bum. For sure you're gonna see that. So you're gonna wanna work extra hard on those areas. So we're gonna go through and I'm gonna show you how to brush your dog with a slicker brush. And this is the one that's in our kit. So the best thing to do is we're gonna line brush. So I'm gonna start at the top. I've got a line right here and we're brushing down with the coat. So there's some tangles in there. I am just brushing through those. We're gonna move like an inch of the hair over. And if you want a long doodle, this is what you have to do every other day at least. So then you're gonna wanna go in after you do that line, and you're gonna to wanna to use your white tooth comb. And that's gonna ensure that you do not have any matting because you really have to get down to the skin. And if you do have some matting, like if it's a little harder to get through here, start down here. Just like your own hair, if you've got a knot and you're pushing it like this, it's gonna get stuck and get worse. So you wanna start down here and just work your way up. Okay, so you're gonna do that everywhere on the body. So you can go back, on the top, that's okay, but you wanna go in this direction. You wanna go down with the body, and it's okay if you wanna go this way too, but you wanna make sure you're just taking these like one inch to an inch and a half chunks of hair and doing a strip going through, and that is going to ensure we are not getting matting. When it comes to the face, it can be a little harder on this neck. The reason I chose this size of brush is this works great for legs and heads. It's not too big, but it's good enough size to really get through the coat. The reason this brush is so amazing, look at like all this hair that's through there, it's getting the loose hair. So even though doodles don't shed, they still lose their hair, so it's gotta come out. We really wanna make sure we do not forget this bum area, this backside. This is where your dog sits down all day. This is very easy to get matte, so make sure you spray it well and then line brush this. All right, we are all done brushing him. He has been brushed through and combed, and now it's time to give him his bath. Did you? Go on, let's go.